Good to see you, sir. Thank you. Uh, this uh, fight week has certainly taken kind of an interesting turn over the last couple of days. I guess uh, mentally, where are you with this whole situation of perhaps changing the weight class on, on, the, on the week of the fight? Uh, I mean, I'm ready to go. That's all that, that matters. Uh, camp went well and controlling the things I can control. Nice. It seems like weight class is normally something you can control. Uh, Dana said you were going to check in with him last night. Did you guys have that conversation about it last night? Yeah, we had a short conversation. And did you agree? Are you okay with moving this up to, to middleweight? It is what it is. Like, I'm ready to fight. So, like, we're moving forward. Was there any discussion at all? I mean, hey, I, I, need, I need a little extra money for this, or maybe there's a little consideration of a new contract or something. That's, uh, I let... Uh, Dave do those kinds of things like he consults me and like figures it out but I don't we don't I don't get into the nuts and bolts of that stuff I know that's an interesting part of of this sport but I don't really discuss those things fair enough uh, can you tell us where you are in weight right now uh, I mean obviously I'm a little light uh, but I'm strong I'm fast so I'm ready to fight like camp camp went really well and uh, I've been doing this a long time so let's do it so what's the plan? Do you try to put on weight at this point? I mean, do you eat more than you normally would on a fight week or hydrate? I mean, what's, what's the plan from here? Or do you come in just well under the limit, or, or what do you think? Uh, really, I'm just going to eat and just try to feel comfortable, make sure I'm eating. Well, the thing is, is like when you're doing this, when you're thinking you're going down to 70, you're cutting things out of your body, and you don't necessarily want to put those back in, even though that those will, you don't know how they're going to affect you. So it's eating more of good foods, which is hard because they're going to fill me up, but I don't know how heavy it'll make me. So it's just uh, play it by ear. My body feels good. I feel strong. So that, that's most important. Yeah. Do you have any idea what you will weigh on fight night or at least at the weigh-ins? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Interesting. Listen, I know obviously Nick's a, a legend of the sport and he's paid his dues, but does this – I don't know, maybe affect your level of respect for him or anything like that? It just seems like a weird move to make. Uh, no, I don't, I don't really. I mean, he comes to fight. He's going through whatever he's going through. It's not, it is what it is kind of thing. Like, just kind of show up and fight. And uh, that's kind of the approach I'm taking. Like, just whatever. Nice. I guess lastly for me, I mean, obviously you're a, an even keel guy most of the time, but does, so does this change anything at all? I mean, in terms of strategy or, you know, your psychology or, I mean, does this change anything? Because on the surface, it seems like a big deal, but you're just kind of like, yeah, whatever. It's a fight. Uh, I'm just trying to stay calm. You know, there's no sense in like getting all riled up and excited. This happened. This, this is whatever. Just staying relaxed. I mean, camp went well, so that's pretty much what it comes down to. I'm falling back on the work I put in. The work I put in went great. My uh, training partner, Jason Jackson, got me tip-top and ready to go. So, like, I'm, I'm sharp right now. I'm freaking strong. My coaches did a great job. So that's what I'm falling back on. That's why I'm not too worried about it. And life is good. Robbie, do you have any idea why Nick wants this at 185? Nope. <laughs> Do you carry the way? No, it doesn't matter because that's just kind of where we're going now and it is what it is. It's... Do you think the weight change benefits you or him? I feel good. So that's, that's all that matters. So, like, I'm ready to fight. What are you even expecting from Nick at this point, right? He's been away from the, the cage for a while. He's obviously had a good time and enjoyed himself out of the cage. What exactly are you expecting from him on fight night? Um, I expect him to be uh, pretty sharp. I don't think he's a guy who doesn't do stuff. I mean, he's going to be in shape. I think he's going to be sharp with his tools that he likes to do. But obviously, it's been a while since he's got in there. So it's getting his fight, and we're, we're going to find out. Thanks, man. Robbie, over here. Uh, Robbie, over here. Uh, you know, it was been so long, nearly 20 years since you guys fought the first time. Does this even feel like a rematch? Uh, I mean, we're totally different people. I mean, that was a long time ago. I mean, kind of similar, but like I've, I've gained a lot from that, that loss the first time, developed my skills, sharpened them, like ups and downs, just been through battles and just, yeah, it's... It's just another fight. He's a big name. 
that's how I look at it. He's a big name with a huge following, uh, and it's an awesome opportunity to fight somebody who is well respected in the sport and who brings a lot of excitement from the fans. So that's that's how I look at it. He's 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 a warrior. He comes to fight and he doesn't take shit. And you mentioned all the battles, right? There have been so through so many great ones in your career since then. Is there somebody you know that kind of stands out that you would say has been your toughest opponent so far? No, I don't really play those games. Fair enough. And uh, just curious, Robbie, you know, like, are you getting to that point where maybe you're thinking about, you know, closing out the career, or are you just continuing to go as long as? No, you can? I'm just, I'm just working. Are, are you getting to that point where you're looking to stop doing what you're doing? No, I am not. <laughs> yeah, like I'm, like if I feel good and and I'm improving every day, and like when I actually put in the time, I'm like getting sharp and like can move with these young bucks and do what I do like I know what I'm capable of I'm not I'm not a fool uh, and I'm still having fun and if I'm willing to put in the time and, and do what it takes and enjoy what I'm doing I'm going to continue to do it and if I can do it at a high level which I know I can I'm going to go out there and show the world good luck thanks Robbie thank you Robbie, um, I got to ask you about uh, Hall of Fame we weekend induction ceremony is tomorrow night. George St. Pierre is going to be inducted. Um, you began your career before him, <laughs> and you're still fighting. You were one of his successors as well at 170. Um, is he someone you would have loved, loved to fight at some point in your career, or you would have thought he would be fighting? Uh, yeah, I mean, he's been uh, fighting for a long time. I've been fighting for a long time, but uh, we never crossed paths, and He's done a lot for this sport, had an amazing career, and hats off to him and his Hall of Fame induction. What does it say about your career that you're still there and he's inducted tomorrow night? Uh, I don't know that I'm still fighting. I mean, pretty. I mean, obviously he did a lot, did a lot at a high level, and like two different guys doing fighting two different ways and. His path was that, and this is mine. So, I mean, it doesn't really, we're just different. Thank you. Yep. Hey, Robbie, right here. Yep. Uh, Robbie, so on that topic of the Hall of Fame, uh, every time you fight, the UFC loves to air your war with Rory McDonald, the second one, obviously. Do you ever think about, hey, when are they going to give me the call that they're finally putting that one in the Hall of Fame? Uh, no, nah, I don't really think of that. Like, I mean, it's an amazing fight, but, like, you're like... That was so long ago. I'm like, move past that and just trying to get better. I mean, the fans love it. It's something I'm recognized for. Rory put on an amazing performance that night, and it was great, but I don't really focus on those types of things. When Rory came down to train with you guys at Sanford MMA, obviously, you know, you guys become official teammates. Is it like that moment at a Rocky Three at the end when you two finally spar, or is it more chill? Uh, no, I'm a pretty chill guy, just like this. Like, I mean, we grappled a little bit. I mean, he's a sharp guy, has a lot of tools in his uh, toolbox and does some really good stuff. Nice to learn from him. And, uh, yeah, I'm just ch I'm chill. Going back to the topic of Nick, um, you look, a lot of people, they say this is the main event for me, Nick and Robbie. Uh, you've had a lot of big fights, a lot of big wins. Would getting this W on Saturday – be up there with those championship victories and some of the other big ones you've had? Uh, once again, like, I don't really, like, look in the past and, like, measure this up to that. But obviously this is a big fight for today and or this week, so that's how I look at it. I mean, the, if the fans are excited, the UFC is excited, and I guess it puts it up there some way, somewhere where people are judging those things. But I don't really... I shouldn't say care, but that's kind of the word that's coming to mind. But it's just, I'm just a fighter who enjoys what he's doing and loves to get out there and compete and put on a show and do what I like to do. And I come to fight. Thanks, Robbie. Thanks.